In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can utilize the tools in Seesaw as a teacher to create a really fun newsletter. So what I'm going to do is head to the Add button here, and I'm going to go to Post Student Work. This is going to give me all of the different tools that students have to create in Seesaw, and I'm going to choose Upload. So I'm going to pretend that I'm a first grade teacher who's just taken a wonderful field trip with students to the apple orchard. I'm going to go down to select from computer, this button here, so that I can pull in some photos that I took when we were on the field trip. I could also go to Google Drive as well if that's where the pictures were stored. So I'm going to select from computer and now I'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard and select up to 10 images and then choose open. This will pull these images into Seesaw. And now I can use the check mark in the top right. And you'll see what happens is that each image has been created and kind of dumped onto the page on their own individual pages. So at this point, if I wanted to reorder them, I could absolutely do so. Okay. And I can also go over and use the text box tool and then I could you know have fun with making this a little fancy here get a little bit bigger make the words kind of yellowish and do whatever I'd like to to augment this Remember that if you want, you can head over to the camera tool and upload other images. So if you want to add other clip art or other things to embellish this and make it even more aesthetically appealing, you can absolutely do that. So now what I'm going to do is head over to the microphone tool over here, and this is going to allow me to record my screen and my voice. So I'll go ahead and click and it will count me down three, two, one, and then I'll begin to record. Hey there, parents. We had an amazing time on the field trip to the apple orchard this week. So we started out walking around and taking a look at the big bins of apples. The kids had so much fun going through and picking their own apples off of the trees. You can see that we piled them all up here into our big red wagon. Smiles abounded. Our friends who don't normally take the bus loved having the opportunity to do so. And when we were done with the apples, we headed over to the playground where we got to ride bikes and stand up on top of the hay bales. And then we finally ended our day playing in the corn silos where everyone had a great deal of fun. So I'll go ahead and pause it and then hit done. And now what it's done is it's taken that recording and it's added it to page one. So what I like to do as a teacher is to go ahead and leave all of these individual pictures here because while this is absolutely the video that I just created, let's take a quick peek. Hey there, parents. We had an amazing time on the field trip to the apple orchard this week. So we started out walking around and taking a look at the big bins of apples. So we've got that first slide now as the video, but it's fun sometimes for parents to be able to look at these a little bit longer. If this happens to be their child, they might enjoy being able to see that. So you can either delete all of these pages here and just leave the video, or you can leave both. And what you do now is go ahead and use the check mark. And what you don't want to do, don't push it out to your students. Just go ahead and you know save it in the sample student. And now what you have is an artifact that has a link. Okay, so we could have put it into a folder if we wanted to, but what you need to remember is if you head down here to the three dot menu, you've got the option right here to share this item. So when I click on that, then I get a share link right here. So this share link, if I copy and paste it into any environment, I can share with parents. So I'm just gonna do it and put it into a new tab so you can see what I mean. Even parents who aren't signed in to Seesaw or anyone can absolutely hit the play button. Hey there, their own apples and watch that entire thing. You could also head into messages if you utilize messages with your families. You could head in there. You can use the new message button to create a new announcement. And then you can come on down 
and use the plus sign here and the link button to put that link right in there. Or you could build directly in this environment as well. Or if you use a different program to do some kind of a newsletter, you might just add that link to your newsletter. So that's just a neat way to be able to utilize some of the creative tools in Seesaw to build out a video newsletter for parents.